Hello everyone! Um, in today's video, I would like to show you what a difference top dressing can make, especially when you have a succulent arrangement, a cactus in a pot, um, and even in your normal houseplant that you have placed in a pot. Top dressing is especially useful if you want certain colors in your succulents or your cacti to pop a little bit more. This is especially the case when you have dark green colors and brown soil, then you can't really often see the green of the uh, plant as much. And just generally hiding the dirt, hiding the uh, brown, sometimes uneven um, yeah, earth is quite appealing uh, and quite nice to look at generally. So I have uh, four pots that I would like to top dress today. Um, first of all, I have this Semper Vivum bowl that I made in a previous video. As you can see, it has done quite well. Uh, I only watered it once uh, so far and it looks yeah, quite beautiful. But you can see, so first of all, there's like there are these brown spots in the back and the green of the Semper Vivums doesn't pop as much uh, because it's too similar to the brown uh, of the dirt. Then, um, this is something I have cl sitting close to my bed. Uh, those are these like succulent uh, stones. Oops, my top dressing just wanted to fall off the table. Um, yeah, so you can see these cute pot, uh, cute succulents. But again, they're green and they don't show off as nice uh, with the brown uh, dirt. Okay, I need to hide my uh, top dressing for now under the table. So, then I have the succulent arrangement that I made in the previous video and it still, still looks very good. I only did one, uh, I added one thing, I added this small cutting and I think it looks yeah, quite cute on the side. But again, so especially, I think this uh, cactus and these lighter colored uh, succulents, they work actually fine. But when you have a dark green succulent like this, you can't really see where it ends. And I think uh, having top dressing would really uh, benefit this succulent arrangement. And then finally, I have this uh, ficus uh, from my mother in this wonderful red pot. But if you look inside, so sometimes I walk past it and I look over it and I can see it's not the most appealing side. So you have like brown, but like white spots and maybe I would like to just would like to see what it looks like if I have some top dressing. Maybe this kind of yeah improves the overall look of this uh, ficus bush. Okay, so it wasn't actually that easy to find uh, good top dressing, good stones in uh, the area where I live. So I decided to go for the simplest option. I went to the pet store to buy um, aquarium stones. Those were the only stones that they have. And I'll just show you what they look like. It's just like gray, light uh, like sometimes slightly reddish white stones and yeah um that they tend to be a little bit dusty so it's definitely worth washing them rinsing them at least once uh, before you top dress this is what i did in my mug uh, so i washed them and now they are a little bit clearer so i'm going to use these stones to uh, top dress my Plants. And I'm going to use the easiest one first because it's just very easy to access uh, this pot, which is this one. So let's see what it looks like when I top dress. And with top dressing, you can actually use quite a, a lot of stones. Don't have a very thin layer because then. Uh, like when certain stones, stones move, you can see the soil again. So having as much uh, stones on the soil is quite good generally. Do, 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 do.
so here we are now these uh, stones definitely pop a little bit more so and i think yeah these stones look much nicer than uh, just having the brown dirt on top And now let's go to my uh, succulent arrangement. I feel like we'll have a lot of stones uh, lying around uh, my flat after this. Uh, <laughs> video, but I, I hope it's going to be worth it. I have to lift the succulents a little bit to go really under the, uh, under the leaves. all the stones yes okay and i think you can see it especially especially with this succulent you can see the leaves much better much clearer because of this light uh, top dressing you can't see any dirt anymore so much more appealing to look at Okay, so I'm going to do this with the remaining uh, two pots or the bowl and I'm going to show you the result later on. See you in a bit. Okay, so I'm done. Uh, let's start with the fecus. Um, in this case, I used the dry pebbles, just this way it's... Uh, you can also see what the difference is between wet pebbles what it's gonna, and what it's going to look like once the stones are dry. So. Now I use the, uh, yeah, the light gray pebbles and it just looks much more neat uh, when I look on top, when I look onto the uh, plant and I'm generally quite happy. So it kind of just goes to show that you can even use it on um, uh, house plants if it's appropriate. Then my Semper Vivum bowl. Yeah, I think it looks like a terrarium now in a way and uh, yeah, I really enjoy that I can't see the brown uh, anymore. Oops, yeah. yeah. Quite happy with this. And just to kind of compare, so this is what the uh, stones are going to uh, look, look like when, it, when they're wet, but they're going to be a little bit lighter uh, yeah, in an hour or so once the stones are dry. And I think then uh, these uh, all my succulents are going to pop even more. Anyway, I hope you um, enjoyed this video. It really is uh, quite easy. It doesn't have to be too expensive. You can be quite creative what kind of stones you're going to use. This time I just used a mix of pebbles, small pebbles, but you can go more like monochrome that you want only light uh, top dressing or you, you can even, even go black if you want black top dressing, if you have like light succulents, I think this would look quite beautiful. So yeah, just use whatever you want, uh, but it really does make a difference, uh, like the 
primal display really looks beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye bye!